I'm Paul, half of Dads and Dice, and today we're going to be looking at Black Sonata and the newest expansion, Strange Shadows. Black Sonata is a solo-only hidden movement game in which you are in 1600s London traveling the streets and the alleyways trying to deduce the identity and location of Shakespeare's Dark Lady. This is an elusive figure that has stunned historians for centuries on who the identity might be. I'm not going to go too deep into this base game just because it's been out for quite some time. Um, but basically, like I mentioned, it is a hidden movement deduction game. What you'll do to play the game is basically you'll set up your board. You have a bunch of different locations on there. And then the main part of the game, honestly, the coolest part of the game is you have the stealth deck. And the stealth deck is how you program the movement of this dark lady. So there's eight different columns that you could choose, four on top, four on bottom. And you are going to alphabetize the cards based on which column you choose. Again, this is going to pre-program the movement of that dark lady so that you can kind of chase her throughout London. So on your turn, you have four actions. You can move, you can search for her, which you have the location cards. You put it underneath, you flip it over. If you see the silhouette of the Dark Lady, that means that you have found her location. And then you can also use fog cards, which get added into the deck and kind of give you other abilities, whether that's something good or something bad. Throughout the game, you're going to be gathering clues, and these clues uh, will match the suit of the Dark Lady, and those numbers are basically going to be either a 0 to a 2, and that's going to tell you what characteristics, or that's going to give you some information of the characteristics that the Dark Lady may have. Once you think you've gathered enough information, um, you can again search for that Dark Lady, or identify that Dark Lady. If you find her location, you can then reveal the characteristics that you think the Dark Lady has. You can flip her over, and if you have matching characteristics and you have found the location, you win the game. You lose the game if you've gone through that stealth deck a total of three times, or if you incorrectly identify the Dark Lady. This game to me is... Honestly, it's one of my favorite solo games. I've played it a handful of times. Um... And I've really, really enjoyed it. I do like deduction. And when I first heard that it was hidden movement, um, I didn't know how that was going to work out. But again, that programmable stealth deck um, just works so flawlessly. Um, it's honestly kind of amazing that it works so well. Now, I have played it, like I said, a handful of times. That doesn't mean that I'm very good at this game. Uh, I've never really had an issue tracking the Dark Lady, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe I just don't have good deduction skills, maybe I'm just a big old dummy, but I always have issues trying to find or trying to figure out the characteristics. Um, again, it's done super well, you know, with the numbers and trying to figure it out, but I don't know what it is. Every time that I am trying to identify her, I generally always find the location that she's in, and then I'm one or maybe even two uh, symbols or characteristics off. So I think that it is at a good difficulty level, the base game. I don't expect to win every game. You know, like I said, I've, I've probably got about a 30% win rate on this game, maybe 40%, um, which honestly isn't too far off of all my other games that I play. Um, but I think the difficulty level for this game at the base level is pretty good. Um, now, in here, you can kind of adjust that a little bit, but you also have now this newest expansion, which is the Strange Shadows expansion. Just like the previous one, the Fair Youths expansion, this one just adds some different modules that you can add to the base game. There are seven new modules in here that really just change the game up enough. They either increase the difficulty, um, add some new mechanics, they could even decrease the difficulty a little bit, uh, 
but this is a really good expansion just to change up the gameplay. I've gotten to play a handful of these, and some of my favorite ones are the Terry cards. So the Terry cards, they are just cards that get added into the stealth deck. They have a palm on them, and anytime you come across this palm, the movement of the Dark Lady stops. Again, I haven't had much issues in the base game tracking her, but this is something that if you do have an issue, you know, either catching her or, or you feel like she's always one step ahead of you, this is a good one to add in there just to stop that movement and have you finally catch up to her. This is one that I've added already to this game and really enjoyed playing. Another one that's very simple to add is the new fog cards. So this comes with a couple new fog cards that are something good. Like I mentioned, the base game has some, but some of the abilities might be good, some of them might be negative. So what you can do with these is just change them out. Maybe you wanna take out all the negative abilities to make the game a bit easier. Um, maybe you just want to randomly switch some here in and out. But again, that's just kind of changing the variability of the game. Um, you can make it a bit easier with uh, the changing of them, or you know, just kind of throw some in just to, to make it a little bit more random. There is the indirection cards, which I've really enjoyed playing. Um, this one is probably my second favorite one on there. And the indirection cards, they are another type of stealth location. So on the normal stealth cards, uh, you have landmarks, and it tells you the options to where it may have gone. So it might show you a little house icon, so it could have moved to a house, it could show you a little mug, maybe it went to a tavern. Um, on these ones, on one of the indirection cards, it has a compass, and it's going to tell you the direction that the dark lady has moved. So it might have the southwest corner shaded in or the northeast corner shaded in, and it's just going to tell you that the dark lady moved in that direction. Um, the other indirection card is one that has two circles on it, and it shows two locations. So it says it could have either gone to this purple location or this red location. It's a way that if you feel like the tracking of the Dark Lady is fairly simple, or maybe that's something that you're good at, kind of like what I think I'm good at in this game, that makes it a little bit more difficult to that aspect of the game. Another one that I've really enjoyed playing is the Ferryman, um, and it adds a little boat token, a little canoe token, and this allows you to move from river location to river location. So, you know, you could be at one end of the map, and then you can move to the other end um, to kind of cut off the movement or, or you know, get in the way of the Dark Lady and might maybe try to find her a little bit faster. Maybe you're at one complete end of the map, and then you need to get to the other end to get that clue underneath all the location cards, and this is just a way to help you do that a little bit faster. One that I haven't tried yet that I'm very, very excited to try is the cat and mouse version. What it does is it turns this solo-only game into a two-player asymmetric game. I've had a ton of fun playing this game solo, um, I want somebody to experience that with me. This game, I have taken a lot on travel because it's such a small box. Um, it's very easy to take with you. The unfortunate thing is I can only play the game solo if I do that. Now, with this expansion, I can play that with my wife, um, and we can both experience Black Sonata um, together. So on that module, one person plays the historian, and they're going to be trying to find the dark lady, and then the dark lady is going to be trying to visit every location before uh, she gets found. So that's one that I'm super excited to try. A couple other ones on here are the blazonry, um, and the blazonry basically has the dark lady hiding behind a blazon, and you have to decipher the symbols on that shield before you can actually identify her. And then the one that, honestly, I probably won't play for a long time, because, again, I am not the best at deduction, uh, is the Darkest Ladies. So on the Darkest Ladies, not only do you have to identify the symbols, you have to make sure that they're in the correct order 
also. To do this, they give you new clue cards um, that work very similar to the location cards, but on these ones you flip it over and it tells you either how many symbols are there and in the correct order, or just how many symbols are there. So again, it's one that if you feel like this game is fairly easy or you've played it enough times that you know the identity of the Dark Ladies pretty much off the back of your, off the top of your head, um, this is one way to make that game a little bit harder. Overall, I think that this expansion is awesome. It adds tons of variability and tons of replayability to this base game, which already is a terrific game. This just adds more to it. The fact that you can combine this with the Fair Youth expansion, um, the fact that you can combine multiple of these modules together, um, it just makes it that much better. This is going to be a game that I will keep on getting to the table. Uh, you know, I already was, but even more so now because that gameplay can just change just a little bit, um, but you still get that original Black Sonata feel. That's all that I have for this kind of mini review of Black Sonata and the Strange Shadows expansion. I think it's terrific. If you like Black Sonata, this is a great one to add on to there. It adds more of what feels to be the same mechanic. And honestly, it's it's terrific. I absolutely have enjoyed it. Um, haven't played all of the modules yet, but the ones that I have have been great. And uh, again, you know, it's it's scalable. You can make it easier, you can make it harder. And that's what I absolutely love in this expansion and this base game. That's all that I have. As always, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff really does help. Helps our channel grow. Till next time, bye.